Hello guys, this is Amel again with one more tutorial so you can learn MIPS. So as usual I have Mars opened and I want to remind you uh, please go to smartbudget.com. It's an awesome website. So today I'm going to be talking about user input. Yes, that's right. We're going to learn how to use syscalls to get user input. Uh, so you can make awesome programs that can actually interact with the user. So as usual, make a new file, go to file, new, and then we have the new file right here, but we want to save it to, the, to any place. Uh, in my case, I'm going to save it to my desktop, and I'm going to call it user input, user input, that ASM. So save, and as usual, we have two sections, that data for all the data and that text for all the instructions. And in, I want to place two messages in random access memory. So they're going to be text, they're going to be strings. So I say prompt, because I want to prompt the user, uh, colon, that ASCII Z. And then I want to say um, enter your age. So this is going to be asking the user to enter the age. And then I want to make another message and this is going to be message and it's going to be that ASCII Z so text and it's going to have a new line so backslash n and it's going to say your age is and then this these two messages right here right now um, they are in random access memory but then I'm going to I'm going to load these addresses to the registers so that you can actually print them out. So, okay, so now um, we're going to do the following. First, prompt, we're going to prompt uh, the user to enter H. So I'm gonna, we're going to say load immediate dollar sign V0 comma 4 because that's the code. Uh, to we're telling the computer to that we're going to bring uh, a string or a, or text, and then um, we want to print out this message right here. So we have we have to load the address. So we say load address um, in the argument register dollar sign a zero. It, it always has to be this register right here, and the address of prompt. And finally, we say okay. Now you know what you have to do. Then do it. Cisco. Okay, so if I run it right now and I execute, you see it says enter your age. Okay, but now we have to uh, get the user input, get the user's age. So for that, we're going to say, what's, let's say that his age is going to be an integer. So we're going to get an integer. So we say load immediate, the last time v0 comma five so right here this is the system call or the code uh, to tell the system that we want to print out that we want to get an integer we want to get an integer from the keyboard from the user and then we say Cisco so this is gonna pause right here and it's gonna allow us to enter a number and the number is gonna be stored in v0 so now I want to store um, the result in T0 temporarily in T0 because I'm gonna be modifying V0 later. So I wanna I wanna be able to save um, what the user entered. So it's gonna go to T0. So for that I'm just gonna use I'm gonna use the I'm gonna use a pseudo instruction. But you can also use add immediate. But I'm gonna use a pseudo instruction just to make it clear what I'm doing. So move to the sign T0 the value in the sign v0 so right here the user entered a value and the value was stored in the sign v0 but i don't want it there because um i'm gonna be modifying the value in v0 later so that's why i have to store it in a different register so i move the value from v0 to t0 and now that i have the user uh the user's input I'm, uh, I can do whatever I want with it. So I'm going to display the message. So I say, load immediate, dollar sign v0, comma 4. Uh, this is the code, as I told you, to display 
a string of or text and then load address dollar sign a0 comma message so I'm loading this message to the argument this is what the system is gonna print and finally I say Cisco so this is gonna print your age is but now I want to print out the age so um, print or print or show the age and right here was display message so print or show the age so you remember uh, it's almost the same thing if you want to print an integer so you're gonna say load immediate dollar sign v0 but the code is now 4 if you want to print an integer the code is 1 so there you go and then you have to tell it what integer you want to print so let's say I want to print right here the age so the age is right here because this is store the age so it's in t0 so I'm gonna say move dollar sign t a move dollar sign a0 comma dollar sign t0 so this is gonna move the age to the argument so now um, the system is gonna print the, the age and finally you have to tell it Cisco so now we're gonna test it save run assemble and then execute and it says enter your age and as I told you it's already waiting it's, it's already waiting for the user to type the age so I'm gonna type my age and I'm 23 years old it's an integer I press enter and voila it says your age is 23 so enter your age it was waiting for the input and finally I enter my age pressed enter and then it said your age is 23 so this is awesome this is like this is just like if you were programming in Java it's like it's, it's as if you were programming in Java or C++ well at least it feels like it but it's a lot more code but now I mean you're getting a hang of this you now you're understanding how this works a, a little bit better so thank you for watching um, don't forget to don't forget to subscribe and see you next time